where we can also get the potassium oxide, the same as before, K2O. We can also get the peroxide with a bit more oxygen. But with excess oxygen, we can get another compound. And this compound is called potassium superoxide. So it's got even more oxygen in it. Okay? Potassium superoxide. So this has one potassium ion. So again, the potassium has given up its electron. But now this has given up its electron to just a normal molecule of oxygen, O2. So we actually have O2 with one negative charge shared out over both of the oxygens. So this is the uh, structure here, the unit that we have in potassium superoxide. So one potassium to two oxygens. Well, this is very reactive indeed. Now let's have a look at some of the reactions here. Um, I have some potassium superoxide in this tube. So it's a beautiful yellow colour. And I'm going to add some water. Bubbles form and a gas is given out. This gas relights my glowing splint, this gas is oxygen. So as soon as water comes into contact with the potassium superoxide, it rapidly forms oxygen gas. Here's the chemical equation for this. We have um, potassium superoxide reacting with water to instantly form oxygen and potassium hydroxide. But this reaction is also incredibly useful as Chris will demonstrate. Come on, Chris. OK, Chris is now modelling the latest in breathing apparatus. This breathing unit here contains potassium superoxide. So this is uh, the unit that has potassium superoxide in it. You can just about see the, the yellow colour in this. This is located here and over here. And so what happens? As Chris breathes, breathe, breathe, Yes, as he's breathing here, of course, he's breathing out water vapour in, uh, in, in the breath. The water combines with the potassium superoxide and liberates oxygen gas. So this is allowing him to stay alive, which is a good thing. But also, of course, Chris is breathing out carbon dioxide, and this is actually very bad. And this leads to a rapidly, if we don't remove this carbon dioxide, we begin to choke very, very quickly. So we need to get rid of the, um, the carbon dioxide. Now, the equation here, the potassium superoxide reacts with water vapour to form oxygen, which is good, so we can breathe that to stay alive, but it also forms potassium hydroxide. And the hydroxide reacts with carbon dioxide to form potassium carbonate. So not only does this give new, uh, more oxygen for Chris to breathe, it also removes the carbon dioxide. So it's a very clever piece of kit. So this is called a rebreather because it allows Chris to carry on rebreathing the same air, just replenishing the oxygen using the potassium superoxide here. So this is used for sort of emergency situations uh, where a source of oxygen is required. But there is no cylinder, there's no oxygen cylinder here, it's just the potassium superoxide supplying the oxygen. Thank you very much. Good. Okay, so that is potassium.